Hello everyone, I am Shiv Mathur and I was planning to talk about a very interesting topic. It's, uh, it's like this thing just came to my mind few days back while, while, while I was trying to listen to someone, one of the maybe you can call a guru or so that the that, that point subject is bookish gurus what what is a bookish guru or what is a bookish teacher or bookish preacher or a bookish storyteller there are storytellers there are uh, you know spiritual storytellers there are spiritual preachers tree teachers preachers uh, gurus sannyasis uh, also there are many sannyasis who are teaching so there are certain cults and sects who are focusing on preaching and teaching even scorn if you see they 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 one of the prime agenda is preaching and spreading the cult spreading the uh, awareness about krishna consciousness is good or consciousness uh, you know is good but but what happens is it's almost most of them are like bookish learners so in bookish learners i i, I won't name uh, just recently i visited another ashram in rishikesh to meet the head of that ashram who invited me and i don't want to name it's a very famous ashram it's not yoga niketan or ved niketan or Paramat Niketan on these ones in the Swarga Ashram side. It is after Kailash Gate. I won't name that ashram. It's a very famous ashram. And they have a lot of courses running. And uh, I saw most of the people who are attending those courses of uh, Vedanta courses which they run are all. Uh, most of the people are in 60s or 70s. So I was a little shocked that, you know, now at 60s and 70s, you're trying to learn Vedanta and that to buy courses so anyway that's how the world runs and that's how people change their priorities or they have the some urge to learn this but how how will they learn what are the various modes of learning that they really don't know like it's said in even Yoga Sutra and in our scriptures some of the scriptures that or I mean it is like known to everyone there are three ways of learning through reading books or through listening and third is the direct experience so it is said that the direct experience is obviously the best way of learning and uh, you know understanding and then then you bring it in your life because people who you know learn from the book <coughs> so there are many limitations in book learning one is that <coughs> your interpretation uh, can completely change what the person who wrote the book <coughs> tried to convey because uh, communication is an, art, is an art how to express is an art <coughs> so writing is <coughs> having many limitations because even like I wrote books and when when you're writing something you are you have something in mind and you're trying to convey that and you write <coughs> but after 10 days when you read the same thing you'll forget Oh, that was this I try to con I, was this the thing which I was trying to convey so when the person who's writing also may forget what he was trying to convey because that was the that particular situation or condition in that mind which gave rise to that kind of uh, thought or uh, you know something which you, somebody wrote so even like a blog post you you write you write a blog post few paragraphs so that's the time and there is something which which you compile in your mind and then you write and you, you have some kind of idea that what you're trying to convey but if you are not able to convey that correctly or even if you have conveyed correctly but when you, you yourself try to read it you might interpret it differently or you may not understand what's he trying to convey so there, there are limitations in books not the modern science even modern science also if you see different writers authors have different way of telling and 
so people prefer some people generally go to these authors or this author so some author is more easily understandable so again even in uh, so if i if i come back to this now bookish gurus and um, so uh, mo most of the people there are two ways people are wanting to learn one is for one is for self development so people are trying to find out how to learn some subject so i am focusing on spirituality now on, or or maybe your religion or spirituality because people read those scriptures uh, religious scriptures like there are gurus some real good gurus have studied all the scriptures also uh, like swami ram he studied i mean they read bible they read quran they read judaism they they, they wrote uh, you know, read all the scriptures to just to understand what uh, what is the depth of the knowledge which they are imparting and they they loved all and frankly all scriptures are kind of teaching the same thing in different ways so the book learning people are learning for self development and there are few who want to become a teacher who want to become maybe a guru or something like that and they want to create when you become a teacher you are teach being a teacher is fine you know but if you are trying you are aspiring to become get a uh, you know stamp branded as a guru then you have some ego of or you have this greed or lust for fame and power and money and all that you want to create an empire that's also an intent behind a lot of people who are trying to become guru i, I know quite a few i will not name them here some of them are on the way to become guru they are some of them are quite rich so they are spending a lot of money in marketing they have very good connections so uh, they, they, there is a way uh, you know a trade secret for which to you know you know uh, achieve that so the focus is somewhere else and so in the both the cases they basically resort to because when the intentions are different so i will not talk about people who are learning from books or listening through for self development because you can definitely learn if your intention is for your own development but uh, i am now not going to talk about that I, that's another deep subject how to learn best way to learn and uh, how to use the books and how effective are books and how to choose which book is good and all how to differentiate and you know some people end up reading a lot of books and they end up doing a lot of courses and they become certified teachers healers this practitioners and you know if you look at western countries there are certified you know they have multiple <laughs> qualifications and uh, you know they have done some this and that and everything you know like so probably i will call them they are like thoroughly confused they just, just don't know what they're doing and uh, so most important is even if you're learning from the book book is like giving you some directions and clues and uh, are you using that to tread the path yourself and explore yourself then that's more important and are you then going to uh, uh, you know uh, clear everything uh, you know get full clarity and and then you understand it your concepts are getting cleared or not so the thing is if you read from books and if you don't get your concepts clear by further uh, analyzing it yourself then your if your concepts are not clear then you will be only rattling out what the book is saying so uh, coming back to school again i, I want to just clarify this whole thing coming back to school there were people who scored a lot of marks great marks they they mugged they memorize the books you know by you know you can memorize and then then they go and vomit in the exam and they scored great marks so in the school boards high school you know those scoring marks was not a great deal because uh, the papers were pay the questions were more tailored uh, aligned to the books so if you memorize your book you can go and vomit and you know you score great marks so so i i call these these this kind of learning is parrot they are parrots so it comes so same thing will be applicable to the spiritual world that there are parrots the storytellers preachers and many gurus so they become parrots they know uh, what's written in which page by heart and they will keep you know rattling out those speaking those uh, you know 
proses from different different sections of the books and all kind of books so so this uh, uh, book learning and so there was one category of people who scored great marks but when it came to so this is like diligence through diligence slowly you do develop some intelligence like concepts but uh, like i know someone very close who used to memorize softwares when i was studying in my engineering that guy used to memorize all softwares by heart and so slowly with diligence he developed understanding so that was a very tough route to uh, learn <coughs> but you know people do a lot of hard work to finally somehow reach that goal so so this is like now the challenge was if you are to you know just memorizing you you will somewhere stumble in your life somewhere you will get stuck i'm sure somewhere you will stuck you may cross those milestones you might get admission into colleges you might clear some competitions good competitions also you can clear and <coughs> but uh, somewhere in your life you will get stuck because you have not <coughs> your foundation is not strong because the way you have learned or you know you have only memorized you have not really understood in depth <coughs> so so somewhere you going to fail so and that there was there was the other category who cleared the concepts went deep into it they understood the whole subject and then they could uh, crack competitions because the concepts were clear and they could crack tough questions in the competition they may not have scored so much in the those exams local exams but when it came to uh, you know getting admission into ivy league colleges they they cracked those competitions so they were way ahead of <coughs> those parrots so so i have just highlighted two way of two type of people so coming i'm coming back to the main subject you know because so it's important to make you understand this book learning and how people learn and so how 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 you know there there are so many parrots <coughs> so now coming to this guru who want to be and i'll focus on bookish guru there are many bookish gurus now how do you identify a bookish guru a bookish guru is a person who wants to become a guru wants to become a teacher and uh, that person will keep quoting continuously he'll keep quoting those uh, proses and uh, mantras or dohas you know from the those scriptures so they are going to explain you something but suddenly they will start reciting something which is in a different language like sanskrit now the person who's sitting doesn't understand sanskrit so what happens when the the, the listener is listening to something which the person is the teacher is trying to explain but suddenly there is an interruption and there is a recitation of some <coughs> prose and now the listener is sitting blank actually <coughs> and frankly now the listener i'll tell you the psychology between these two now the listener is awestruck in a way <coughs> the listener feels the teacher is very learned very knowledgeable he knows the scriptures <coughs> so the the listening has stopped actually <coughs> and now there is a awe <coughs> state of awe and also a state of <coughs> unknown the listener doesn't know what's happening and now this guy he is trying to raise his label to show his prowess to show that he is a great knowledgeable person so the the basics of teaching has gone away and now this this is the transaction which is happening where it is lifting this guy's ego who is a teacher <coughs> and the listener is into awe under the impression this is a psychological exchange that this guy is a great learned person so uh, so the he, that person listener will probably feel uh, i may not understand but the listener's ego is also boosted thinking that he's he she is sitting in front of a great teacher so so this is the kind of a uh, this is what is actually happening that moment and then the teacher will come back again and then again quote that prose and then explain that prose and then come back to the original explanation and again go back and again do so there will be constant interruptions so the, what is happening is a teacher is not able to in my understanding convey in short and concise way 
in a simple way that particular subject or a problem or anything like in his her own words if it's not coming from his her his heart it's not coming from inside because he she the pre teacher him uh, itself is not living that the teacher has not imbibed the teachings of the book he has only memorized so much by heart so he is not imbibed it actually and you can see that from the body language not everybody will understand but you can then see from the body language you can see the from the facial expressions and you can see the interaction between two people uh, what's going on and uh, for example i know a lot of teachers now they are teachers yoga teachers who go to attend these yoga teacher training and when i ask them you did study yoga sutra of patanjali uh, what do you know about it so they are like blank <laughs> they are blank because the teacher was also <laughs> a parrot who tried to teach something and uh, students were not they were more interested in learning the asanas because this is little uh, intense and sounds complex and obviously he is only rattling out those duas and trying to explain so it is like again a, a parrot trying to teach <laughs> so if you if you want think that a parrot is going to teach you and you will learn <laughs> so uh, identify parrots a parrot guru <laughs> in hindi there is a word called vidwan and gyani <laughs> so in yoga there are four marks gyan mark so gyan mark is the knowledge of mar uh, path of knowledge through your experiential learning you learn and gain knowledge you in uh, enhance your Uh, inten- uh, intellect and intuition and discriminatory abilities and and you go beyond time and space into higher dimensions higher consciousness <laughs> your mind expansion all that happens in the uh, gyan marg of yoga and or or the path of knowledge <laughs> but uh, apart from uh, you know out of these four parts uh, four paths of yoga and there are other paths bhakti marg and all karma kar- kar- Uh, kriya uh, kriya ma yoga and then uh, raj yoga so they are all integrated and uh, but now you have uh, another sect of people who have actually not followed all, none of these path and they have only become parrots so they have got some knowledge but it is not complete because if 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 you tell them explain me this without quoting those books i can tell you will not be able to explain it properly and uh, the, like i encountered one person again i won't tell who uh last year and he's also a teacher <coughs> and moment i met him he started he just pounced on me like i don't know as if he's found somebody to listen to him and he just started <coughs> telling me something about ved vidas Uh, and like i i i was just listening and i was wondering what's he talking because you know it didn't make any sense to me and i was like getting bugged that uh, this guy does he even know what he's talking but for a lot of people it will be like they'll be odd you know you know seeing everything like the, the whole package i call it a package what they wear and <laughs> all that stuff so there is a whole package they present and then they <laughs> like i had gone to belgium brussels i was teaching there uh, taking a workshop and someone told me why don't you wear those clothes that makes a lot of difference so th- these are all <clears throat> and there's a hype which also gets created so you know so there's a lot of hype in this world this whole world is you know all about packaging so this this so, so i i stopped that this person who was telling me and i asked him few question he like he was <laughs> shocked uh, like he didn't know where to answer and he started looking here and there when i asked him four five questions and he was like <laughs> so, so he finally stopped <coughs> after that he never tried to <laughs> talk to me about vedas <laughs> so and he teaches and uh, he also says oh, i have a class but i have to prepare i have not prepared so i mean if you have learned <laughs> and then why do you need to prepare you just talk <laughs> so Yeah, we it should be natural you know when you learn it should come naturally you, you don't have to prepare i remember in some in warsaw somebody used to tell me you have 45 minutes have you prepared some couple of times somebody asked me are you have you prepared uh, i said what what is there to now there's nothing needed to prepare it's 
whatever comes naturally i will speak why should i prepare you know when you are preparing then you are only uh, obstructing your own self actually because now you are getting throwing yourself into a confusion and you will be now in a dilemma what to talk what not to talk should i have i missed this have i missed that so you will be you lose your focus from talking and you will go on to have i covered this have i covered this i will educate not educate fine so coming back to the bookish gurus so they are the ones who this is something very important which i was trying to explain that you have to understand uh, bookish gurus now a lot of people say oh they they are knowledgeable they have read the scriptures they know all the scriptures even in you know, i follow a lot of uh, bible people who are uh, following bibles it's good that they are following bible but they keep quoting those proses and now the language in which the proses are written is very difficult to even decipher <coughs> and interpret but uh, why to keep uh, you know page one i mean whether it is christianity or whether it is hinduism whether it is muslim uh, you know they, they, there are all these kind of preachers are all, they are all over who are constantly quoting these scriptures they have not learned but they are only so do i need to go to learn from someone who is only reading a book or should i learn from someone who's understand the essence essence of the book and now live and now living that life has experienced what has been taught has learned from experience what has been also given in the book <coughs> like swami ram said and many others yogi told that <coughs> the knowledge which you are telling is is yours is actually not yours it is a knowledge <coughs> if you re- if you are reading up from a book that's not your knowledge that's somebody who wrote the book it is that person's knowledge because that person who wrote a book <coughs> wrote from his experiential learning and he wrote it down in the book it's his knowledge he found it <coughs> i mean i don't mean that it is his knowledge knowledge is absolute it's universal but we only discover it through our attempts uh, efforts and sadhana self inquiry and all that stuff so what i mean is his knowledge means he he discovered it through his experiences and the scriptures say that everybody should discover it <coughs> through their effort <laughs> not by just memorizing a book so so the point is i was meeting i met lalita mata ji in gangotri she also said learn from even uh, uh, that yogi nargiri padamgiri ji who just passed away in gangotri again he also said only if you have experience then only you can teach <coughs> even uh, the yogi in kedarnath he also passed away he also said the same thing and that is true <coughs> i am also teaching what i have experienced uh, I, what i have not experienced i can't teach that so i really don't know what i have not experienced but i have whatever i experienced i am teaching that only i am teaching meditation because i have experience i have got some state of mind and how i got it i have understood it so that's how i am teaching it so the point is these bookish gurus there are plenty and some of them are very famous and these gurus will talk a lot about the scriptures quote keep quoting quote 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 and also tell a lot of stories so there are stories also spiritual stories religious stories so they are all mixing up so stories are good when you are a child because child likes to learn from stories but i see even today grown up people also like to listen to stories so they go to these uh, spiritual story tellers <coughs> and they tell interesting stories and you know they are like kids who are listening to them and they spend 2 hours 3 hours listening to these stories and these guys are making great amount of money and a huge crowd there oh what a great guru and people come back so what do they learn nothing but if you really look at real yogis <coughs> swami ram yoganand parmanand <coughs> or uh, maharishi ramana nisargata guru maharaj all of them they all said that learn yourself <coughs> exp- learn by experience and if you look at all their teachings they they, they may quote sometimes from <coughs> the gita and the scriptures but most clearly there is 90% of the teaching is completely their own <laughs> sometimes they might quote but again if i would say that like swami ram used to quote like he has 85 video videos on yog sutra of patanjali in those videos he does quote but i accept one or two quotes quotes once in a while because 
because once you are you know quoting some you know thing from this book it, and that too in sanskrit so the other person doesn't understand sanskrit then you translate it but then there is this is these are interruptions i would say these are interruptions because if you are teaching and you are continuously teaching in a very simple way now the point the, the, the last point i want to tell is the idea of teaching is that if you can explain someone in a very simple way in the easiest way then then i would say you are a good teacher and that can only happen if you have really understand the concepts very well and you are living those concepts if you are living a vedic life if you're thinking like that if you are a real sanatan if you understand sanatan and if you are and then you live like that if you understand dharma or sanatan dharma then you will und- then 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 only you live that your mind will be completely in sync with the dharma and then then only you can what you talk and what your actions in the talk everything will be completely aligned to that you don't have to quote anything like that so the point is <coughs> how do you find people who are experiential uh, who have experience they they are rare so if you go to gangotri you will meet and uh, some of uh, you might you will find like some very wonderful uh, yogis even i call uh, this lady uh, this yogini from russia she is annapurna giri she is from uh, ahavana khada wonderful knowledge wonderful knowledge all coming from inside she has the deepest understanding of veda and sanatan dharma and she lives it amazing there's just one video of hers which is a very good interview i mean she speaks and fluent non stop there is no interruption if you see the video of tat wale baba ji on my channel he was going like a express train mahesh yogi was trying to interpret in english after some time tat wale baba ji didn't he not give him a chance to interpret he just kept speaking without a break and he went so fast super fast because a real yogi will talk if if he he will not care i am giving you knowledge from inside from my atma from my soul i am connected to my soul i am giving you the absolute knowledge everybody has a you know we all are souls but uh, others are not connected they have disconnected they have got connected to the external that's why they are not disconnected from soul but they are connected to the external so tat pale baba ji is you see he is going full flow ta 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 non stop they are the real gurus <laughs> he has also read scriptures <laughs> but when he speaks he never quoted any he you know in that discourse of 20 30 minutes he is not quoted anything he just gone tak 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 full blow so i find such people who will then then the, the the exchange between the teacher and the student is so deep so intense so intense very powerful but unfortunately the whole psychology and the hypnosis built around the hype of teaching in a certain way and we been also taught to quote these books and given a lot of importance to these books and not given importance to concepts uh, even in schools there's a lot of importance given to just scoring marks by somehow memorizing so the stress went on memorizing so the general trend was for majority of the people in learning is memorize so no, nobody wants to put an effort to understand the concepts So, so the world is full of bookish gurus it's up to you to identify who's a bookish guru and who's not a bookish guru who's teaching from you know from the heart from the soul who has an experience even when i was writing the books last year i had no clue how you know about book writing and all but then somebody told me if you if if, you, if these are your own thoughts then you are a prolific writer and somebody very 
uh, learned guy told me this who read my book and he considers this book as a guide i am not boasting or about myself but i'm just saying and uh, then then i started understanding this book writing world and a lot of people write books i'm not talking about fiction story books i'm talking about subject books you know like my book is like a subject book it's not about fiction is okay obviously it's all imaginary that's imagination but here it's not imagination here it is knowledge i'm when i'm you know when you're writing a book about knowledge so most of the people are compiling a lot of people are compiling <laughs> i'm not talking about physics because physics if you write about thermodynamics you will write about thermodynamics only and you will not diverge from there <laughs> it's all what's written and written by author a as will be also written by author b and author c and author d only their little language will be changing and uh, the kind of problems they will will give will be giving different <laughs> but the base the formulas and all everything will remain same the calculations will remain same <laughs> only the way of explaining will be little different the english will be different the language will be little different so <laughs> so that's that's what about uh, this uh, book writing i realize that a lot of people i know one guy he sees he sees and so many people are best sellers so they uh, there's a guy i know who who is uh, spending a lot of money on marketing so you know he spends x amount and he earns x amount so by spending this so he's not actually earning because he's whatever he's earning uh, he's spending in marketing and then he's become a best seller because he's able to sell some 10000 books so there are you know and then he says i'm a best seller but you made nothing you know you fool yourself then there is another guy who who i believe he read some 80 100 books and then then he compiled information in those books and then he presented it so it's like copy paste so these are copy paste writers so all kind of people exist in the world oh, it's important for us to find that uh, it's it, it's a ocean actually it's very difficult to uh, in a ocean of illusion i would say this is an ocean of illusion this whole world is illusion and wherever you go you first face illusion and then you have to navigate to find the truth so uh, when i come to my spiritual teachers I, my point was about bookish teachers and and I, but these are in plenty and so you have to use your discrimination to really understand uh, through the body language and through the facial reading and you can only do that if you have a great insight into the body language and face reading and what words they use and from what what they're teaching you i mean a lot of people can say that this person is teaching from inside but uh, it's his own knowledge so you can make out so you should use that discrimination and don't <laughs> fall in for these <coughs> parrots okay thanks